Hi there, and welcome to DizzyIT.com's informational video on the PowerShell execution policy. My name's Graham Regan, and I'll be taking you through this little, probably five minute piece on the execution policy. What is it, and how does it affect me? The article that relates to this is on DizzyIT.com website, and it's this article here, the PowerShell set execution policy, and the error that is associated with it. So, the error message. What you may have seen and what's probably led you to this is this uh, error message here. Basically saying that the files cannot be loaded because the running of scripts is disabled. On this particular piece I was just doing an Office 365 R script on a new computer and this came up. Okay, so what is the execution policy? Well the execution policy is a security setting from Microsoft that will allow or prevent you from running uh, scripts on your system depending on the setting that you have. Now, there are four different uh, main settings. There are some others, but these are the four we're going to touch on. Restricted, all signed, remote signed, and unrestricted. And restricted, as I mentioned before, is what you get out of the box. This is basically the Fox Mulder trust no one setting. No scripts can be run. Not from Microsoft, not from your best friend, not from your girlfriend, boyfriend, Mothers, brothers, sisters, cousins, former roommate, no one. A uh, bit restrictive for a scripting engine, I would have thought, but this is Microsoft's way of wrapping you up in bubble wrap and rolling you down a hill. All signed. All signed means that if you get a script from somewhere else or yourself, it must be signed. Um, this can be a pain when you're writing scripts on the fly to query Active Directory, create users, that sort of stuff, because yeah, it's a pain. Um, your security policy in your organization, though, may say that is what you need to have. Remote signed. Now, most people know fall into this area here. Remote signed means that if you get it from an external source, it has to be signed. If you uh, conjure it up yourself, then you don't have to sign it. Gives good flexibility with some trustworthiness as far as where I got this script from, is it trustworthy, is it going to break my system, am I going to get sacked. Now, unrestricted, this is the I like to live life dangerously mode where you can run any script on the system. What that will mean is that if someone compromises your system, well, that's going to be the first problem anyway, but if they do, they're really going to have unrestricted access to whatever they want to do not a good look and have fun explaining that to the board of directors okay so how do we check what execution policy we're using well the command that we run and you'll have to forgive me i have pre-typed these because i type like a five-year-old is get execution policy okay hitting that will tell me the current policy is restricted okay fair enough how do i change it well Pretty similar command. Set execution policy, and then you just type in the one that you want. Uh, if you're not sure which one you want, you can cycle through with the tab button and it will show you the different options available. I'm going to hit remote signed. You get this nice big error message saying that Microsoft is looking after your best interests and you shouldn't be doing this and blah 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 you say yes and from now you're in the remote signed mode you can verify this by doing get execution policy and there we go okay so once again just letting uh, you know that this information can be found on the dizzyit.com website which is this one here pay us a visit there's a lot of other articles on different windows and cisco and vmware uh, topics and We'd love to hear from you. If you have any feedback, it would be great to hear from you as well. Thanks for watching. I hope I helped you out.